14-year-old Duffy Strode hasn't changed much in the last four years. He and his family still shout the gospel wherever people gather. The Blue Ridge Mountain town of Marion, North Carolina has grown accustomed to this eccentric, Bible-toting family. The town's annual Christmas parade, complete with marching bands and Santa Claus, is to them sacrilege. <laughs> Santa Claus, Satan Claus, we call it. <laughs> Satan? Satan Claus? <laughs> yeah, you change the letters around, you got Satan. Their other favored targets? Promiscuity, homosexuality, the school system, and cigarette smoking. Nine-year-old Matthew and ten-year-old Pepper have joined their older brother and father in the sidewalk preaching while their mother videotapes the event. She says to ward off physical attacks and legal prosecution. Duffy first caught the public's eye almost four years ago when he was suspended from school for his preaching. His parents then pulled all their children out of the school. The educators, they said, were unchristian. You're the one that's going to hell, not me, man. Your pocket, going, going, says like going down, calling everybody Please. whores. Man. Their high-powered preaching and scathing proclamations are generally not appreciated, especially at the Christmas parade. There's a time and a place, I feel, and, you know, in a public gathering like this right here, it's the wrong time and the wrong place for it. This most contrary of families who believe their savior is coming for them within two years feels otherwise. And their mission in the meantime is to save as many souls as possible. Ever since the children left the public school four years ago, their home has been their classroom, their mother is their teacher, and their curriculum is strongly Christian-based. It's the only way, the Strodes believe, that the children will get a proper education. B-L-R-D, that's what Jesus shed for me, the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood. This is not a family especially concerned with education, social convention, or public acceptance. They are fanatics, the father explains, fanatics for salvation. Brian Cabell, CNN, Marion, North Carolina. Ten-year-old Duffy Strode is going to school on a mission to tell people to walk the straight and narrow. Duffy's already been suspended twice from school for preaching. Still, he preaches. Some people within earshot of Duffy are offended. I'm a Christian. I go to church, and but I don't believe in getting out calling people whoremonglers. And... Duffy's five-year-old brother Matthew and six-year-old sister Pepper also preach, but off the school grounds because the school suspended them for the same thing. The principal warned Duffy to stop preaching and come in the building. When he wouldn't, she told his mother he was suspended. Free speech is not the issue. Disruption You're is the liar. issue. You're a liar. You're a liar. If they can't shout the Gettysburg Address, then probably they can't preach. If it is in that loud, screaming voice either, they he can't. He must be saved! But I can't stop it. If I stop it, then I'm in trouble with the Lord. Although some people say these children have a brilliant career ahead of them in preaching. Teachers here say if the students continue their disruptive behavior, what's in their immediate future is more trouble. Mike Lane for CNN, Marion, North Carolina. On the Your sin will find you out. The last time Pepper and Matthew Strode brought their biblical message to this McDowell County Elementary School, they were suspended for five days before that three days. But that didn't discourage them. Their brother Duffy preaches outside the school grounds since he's under suspension for this kind of behavior. The principal told them to stop preaching and come in the building. You must come into the building. By staying out here, you're in violation of those school rules. Robin Strode told the principal there's nothing in the school handbook that says her children must be in the building before 8 a.m. Now you get that handbook and you show me. Now, see, you can't take it. If they were standing out here in silent protest, they would be in violation of school rules. Principal Gorst suspended Pepper and Matthew for 10 days. It was straight out of hell. What do you think, Matthew? I think he's a fancy. School authorities say they hope they won't have to take any further corrective action against these students. They hope they'll just come back to school to learn. But some parents are in no hurry to see the student preachers return. Common if they're going to preach, that they are to preach in church, that they ought not to preach in the school ground. 
and I don't know. To me, I think the parents ought to do something about it. And I think the parents ought to get a petition up so they can't come back to the school. In Marion, North Carolina, this is Mike Lane for CNN. Strode preaches the gospel. People listen. Women can't keep their eyes off of men. Duffy, it's 15 till 8. Will you come into the building and scoop? Because he stayed outside and preached before school this morning, Duffy was suspended for the third time since March. A fifth grader who speaks mostly in Bible quotations. Why do you have to do it at school? Well, the Bible says, go ye in all the world and preach the gospel. School officials here insist they're not against Duffy preaching. They say when children arrive in the morning, they're required to be inside the building for reasons of safety and supervision. And their blood! Playground preaching. It runs in the family. Matthew, Duffy's little brother, is only five. He's also been suspended for 18 days. He's not even old enough to read. By staying out here, you're in violation of those school rules. And their sister, Pepper, six years old, suspended for 18 days. It was straight out of hell. Robin Strode, their mother, believes what her children are doing is more important than school. Preaching the Lord comes before education any day. Marion, North Carolina is a small, sleepy town, and folks here aren't accustomed to noisy preaching children. There's a place, time and place for everything. I think the church is a place for preaching. On school nights, David Strode has his children in the pickup truck, spreading the message at the shopping center. He's a machinist and also a preacher. I can't find one case in the Bible where any Christian went against open-air preaching. Strode has hired a lawyer. He wants his children back in their classrooms. And his son, Duffy, wants to fight the school policy, too. You need a savior! You're going to hell! Like father. Ye serpent! Like son. Ann Rubenstein, NBC News, Marion, North Carolina. Yes of your father! Duffy Strode, the 10-year-old preacher from Marion, North Carolina, returned to school to continue his mission. Sin is the transgression of God's law. God His effort to save people's souls is attracting a lot of attention. Sheriff's deputies were at the elementary school to make sure things didn't get out of hand. Not everyone appreciates the young preacher's efforts. Telling Ronnie that his dad's going to go to hell and all that and cuss in front of the kids and stuff and hollering in their face. Several times, the assistant principal asked Duffy to quit preaching and come in the building. Duffy, it's 15 to 8. Will you come into the building and scoop? Help! Help the The assistant principal told Robin Strode her son was suspended for 10 days. Well, let me ask you something, Mr. Strode. Come into the office, please. Now, you come out here and get on me. Let me ask you something. Coward. Got a little yellow streak right up your back. You can't have public education and bring numbers of children together if you can't have rules. What? Duffy joins the absentee role of his brother and sister. They're still under suspension for this behavior. The McDowell County School Superintendent says the young children don't have to serve their suspensions and they can come back to school if they'll just quit disrupting school activities. The young preachers say they're not interested. I'd rather, um, I'd rather, um, preach and get suspended from back to school. The Strodes attend the New Mana Baptist Church in Marion, but the pastor says the Strodes kind of preaching is doing more harm than good. The thing I, th I think is wrong with their kind of preaching is, number one, uh, they seem to come on with the wrong attitude. In Marion, North Carolina, this is Mike Lane for CNN. Build is a town meeting between the people of Marion, North Carolina and the Strode family. The Strodes have created a sensation by encouraging their children to preach at school. The three youngsters, 11-year-old Duffy, 6-year-old Pepper, and 5-year-old Matthew, have been repeatedly suspended from Eastfield Elementary School for their Bible belting on campus. Local people have been outraged at the Strodes who say that children in Marion are destined for hell. During the taping of the nationally syndicated Sally Jesse Raphael show in Marion, they vented their feelings. She told my nine-year-old daughter because she wore makeup that she looked like a whore. 
according to the scripture, her daughter is a whore according to the scripture. She come in my head. David Strode supports and encourages his children's preaching, David and he Robin says he'll continue to do so. Uh, the Bible commands us to fight. It commands us to be steadfast and unmovable. David Strode says he'll probably send his kids to a school in another part of town in the fall. But the audience of some 200 made it overwhelmingly clear they didn't think much of Strode or his preaching youngsters. This guy, I mean, let's face it, he's a nut. Afterward, the arguments between the Strodes and townspeople continued. Oh, that's a lot. That's a lot. That's a lot. That's a lot. Yeah, that wasn't what was said. No. Somebody, somebody got in your ears. Ironically, this is a religious community dotted with churches. But a local pastor says the Strodes may prompt Marion residents to violence. I'm afraid something might, you know, somebody might come by the house and throw something or shoot or something like that. Very possible. The Strodes remain defiant, claiming God is the only one who can judge them. Jeff Levine, CNN, reporting. I'd like to know. Neighbors. The street preaching Strode family children started the new school year Monday just like they ended the old one. They defied officials at the elementary school they attend by preaching on school property. I hope you've come to go to school today. It's good to see you again. Marriage is horrible and all! It will be undefiled by whore mothers and the daughters! I'm an adult, and I have trouble when a child just says to an adult who's an authority figure in the school or in the community to say to that person, you go to hell. Duffy Strode was suspended for 10 days. Nothing new for the children. All three were suspended repeatedly last school year for preaching on school property. Their behavior infuriated townspeople. School officials had sheriff's deputies on hand Monday, fearing mob violence might occur when the Strodes appeared. It never happened, but there was anger. Because well, I think the man's crazy, and he won't change the man, he's going to get it. School officials here consider it a simple case of children disrupting classes. But the Strodes say it is a case of communists and infidels trying to prevent their children from speaking God's word. Now what they're going to try to drill into these children's head this year is that Jesus Christ was a liar. It did not start in the garden with Adam and Eve. Strode says his children have a First Amendment right to preach at school, but acknowledges there's not much he can do about the suspensions unless he files a lawsuit. But he's been unemployed since May and so far hasn't drummed up much support for his Old Testament hellfire and damnation style. Larry Lamott, CNN, Marion, North Carolina. 11-year-old Duffy, 6-year-old Matthew, and 7-year-old Pepper Strode won't be preaching at the Eastfield Elementary School in McDowell County. The whoremongers and the daughters, God will die! Repent! The children were suspended several times for this behavior, and their parents decided not to send them back. David Strode has applied for the home school option. Strode feels the children can learn what they need to learn at home. It uh, frees my children from all the satanic influences that have been uh, implemented into the public school systems. Right now, this is what Duffy is learning at home, how to get rid of persistent callers. Because of their suspensions, the children have already spent a lot of time at home, so they're ready for home teaching. But some people in this community wonder what kind of teachers the children will have. I think they're nuts. <laughs> they're squirrely. As that boy of mine says, the, the elevator don't go all the way to the top. <laughs> the long-suffering principal of Eastfield seems we'll grateful for the Strode's here. decision. We are back to normal. Things are quiet, operating smoothly, and the classes are going on well. David Strode has a high school degree, so he says he's qualified to teach. Homeschoolers are usually smarter than the, than the children at the school. School board representatives will be visiting this new private schoolhouse just as soon as the Strodes begin teaching classes here. The state wants to make sure the children are learning in a manner the state deems appropriate. 
In Marion, North Carolina, this is Mike Lane for CNN.